It oh. feels like the way to do. I think we also may have the classes flipped. Kaldi is the one that has Priest and uh, Druid, and then I think Reyna's one has Warrior and Warlock. Um, you sure? Or is it? I think, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You nailed that one, Frodan. Good stuff. Oh, okay, so it's actually going to be it's Mage warrior going up against Warrior, warrior. yeah. No, we're Mage versus Warrior. Oh, sorry. Yeah, and yeah. Kaldi's playing his Secrets Mage, which Reynad saw earlier, and uh, of course... We didn't get to see Rain as Warrior because we only saw Shaman and Freeze Mage in the previous series. It's a good matchup for Warrior if um, Mage doesn't like hit the curve, like the exact curve he wants. Well, the, the exact. The exact what? Cu curve? You mean, I mean, oh, curve. Curve, curve. curve. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. It's, uh, it sounds a lot smarter the way you say it. Sounds sexy when yeah. Kothar says it. Curve. Say it to me more often. Uh, we have to ask a severe show. I have a great, as you say, mana kirv. <laughs> Is that a Polish accent? I have no idea. That's a nothing. Uh, that's good. Good stuff. I'm not actually good with my voice. Frodan is the master of impersonations <laughs> here. He is so good at Trump impersonation. Maybe we can do that later no, when Trump's playing not again. Not only Trump. Did you uh, hear it today? What was it? Who did you impersonate today? Oh, Colento. Oh, yeah, Colento was amazing. Oh, I, I, oh I'm yeah? Work, I'm working on a Savitz one, but it's kind of tough to do because the oh. Finnish accent is not easy. Yeah, to and he's do. just so cute when he talks. I so. know, and I don't, I don't want to make fun of Savitz. He's too adorable. <laughs> no, it's great. You should do it. <laughs> um. <laughs> All right, so uh, this mage deck, you know, and I'm really glad we have you on the couch here, uh, Lothar, because you performed brilliantly with this. You went 6-0 in the tournament with it so far. Um, how, you said the keys to it is the curve and being able yep. to disrupt a lot of the Warriors' plays. Like, based on evaluating the hand right now for Kaldi, do you think he's in an okay spot starting things off? Yeah, that's a pretty bad hand, right? Yeah, he has no secrets to pull off the value of Kintors. And um, we are not playing the exact same decks. We have some differences. And uh, I don't really know if he's playing Mana Worms. Is he playing those? I, I don't remember, remember seeing really. it. Yeah, I don't remember seeing Mana Worm in his deck. That might be the issue with uh, filling out the curve. Uh, did I say it pro properly now? Yeah. Okay. Oh, well, yeah. Oh. Now that we know what you're saying, yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, so um, right now it doesn't seem likely that the mage will win, but this can be turn up inside. Uh, uh, um, I mean, it can turn. Uh, it c it can turn 180 degrees. degrees. Uh, or inside out. Yeah, on the inside out, uh, inside out if um, he pulls some insane mirror entities or uh, maybe duplicate the Ragnaros or Sylvanas. I'm not really sure if he plays those, though. I think he uh, does, right? I think he has duplicate in here. I, I want to say yes. I'd be very surprised if he's not. There are three secrets that usually be associated with this deck, which yeah. is counter spell to deny opponent's spell, duplicate to get two of one card, oh, yeah. and then uh, the mirror entity to copy whatever minion gets played. Well, so those are the three. Super important uh, when you play this mage is actually if you get the coin, because if you get the coin, you don't have to play the counter spell uh, like in fear being just used for the coin of sure. your opponent. Mm -hmm. So it's actually very good for for Kaldi. Uh, well, but what's not good is he's yeah. now forced to play uh, Sludge Belcher, which gets completely. Can you play the right Sludge now. Belcher here though? That's like it literally just disappears for some damage on Lothab and killing this two one that you could easily ping. It's Which might so not, painful. I mean, it depends if Raynad wants to just use Fiery War yeah, to push through. Yeah. Either way, the the Sludge Belcher is going to be one hundred percent dealt with. I would say. I mean, I. I think yeah. you shouldn't play the Belcher here because y you have to deal with the low tap either way. Yeah. And uh, you have. You have the flame. He had strike. no other play though. Y you have the flame strike for turn six. So why wouldn't you just ping uh, the just low ping tap? Ping the two one. No, the low tap. Okay. Yeah, you, uh, set up for a coin yeah, flame set strike. Ah, oh, okay, 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 okay. So it's it's very easy to know that you will flame strike because why would you ping the low tap? Yeah. But uh, I think warrior though? warrior wouldn't play anything else anyway because he has already too many. Is that on worth his that seven damage? But uh, an example when you play against uh, uh, if you play as w play uh, uh. if you play against um, a warrior with a priest, okay. you don't use the holy novas for exact same value as the n usual matchups, so I think that was the correct play. We'll see how it goes. Hmm. So. Now, we don't often see Sylvanas played that aggressively on an empty board, unless you anticipate your opponent having like big creatures, like against Handlock, for example. But if you're doing this, is it because you're afraid of like your opponent having mere entity, and then Sylvanas becomes completely unplayable? 
Uh, like, yeah. Because this is yeah. it's interesting that he's willing to put pressure directly onto the mage like this with Sylvanas you know, on empty board. Like, yeah, I, I do find it a little bit odd as well, but... And now he is setting up for that flame sure, strike yeah. you were talking about, but... Yeah. I think I that, guess that if you look at that, it's it's like either... Maybe he's like, well, you played Belcher, so you probably don't have flame strike because he thought maybe you'd set up like Lothar was saying. Uh, or... You'd have to use like a fireball and then also maybe a frost bolt. And it's like, well, you know, maybe I'll trade these cards for that. I'm kind of a uh, card of guard here by not playing the frost bolt and fireball. That was a perfect setup for just cleaning the board without the flame strike. And oh yeah, you're right. Uh, you could have saved. He didn't but... have the frost bolt, so that was an option before. But he did draw that. But so I'm not really sure what he didn't do. That it's it's also a ten mana heal this way, right? Yeah. He's and definitely going to take a lot of damage. And the mirror entity on turn 6 isn't so important as the mirror entity on turn uh, on turn 7. Like, be because of the sure. Ragnaros and other stuff that can Ah, uh, yeah, good be point. I mean, look, he can get the mirror entity on the unstable goal. But Reynard, he's going through testing it and thinking about all the possible Oh, yeah, and Reynard is great at playing yeah. around secrets. We could watch that at WCA. That was yeah. really impressive. He does this uh, generally pretty well. Yeah, that's and he's yeah, going to see it, and he has Fiery War Axe immediately lined up. Yeah, quite well done there. Deals with that perfectly. That's like the last card that you really want to steal right there. He will clear the board, but, you know. Yeah, but now these minions got some mileage out of him. True, but now you have to use the Flame Strike because you're facing uh, 11 damage coming or, from, yeah, the, yeah. from the from board. The board. The yeah, and weapon. you're already at 16, so... Gromash is, is is very. <laughs> if he yeah, if he doesn't and like say he just uses Frostbolt and Ping like you were mentioning, and then there's like a minion play where the Ghoul can pop, the Gromash can come down. Oh yeah. And then that's just like major damage straight to the mage's face. I don't uh, really see the point of holding on those fireballs and frostbolts. You have no time to use them. Yeah. You have no time to utilize all the cards that you have drawn, and that's mm, right. really weird because you play a deck which is kind of like Shaman because it lacks draw. So you have to find a way to use every single card you have with the best value. Hmm. So Raynat has an empty board. And I, I don't know if Keldy plays Polymorphs, but if you do, does that disincentivize you from playing Baron Geddon at all? Or do you want to get out of the way? Hmm. I think you get it out of the way. Like, let him use a removal spell. Let him use a fireball on this, because... This guy doesn't really... He's not in here to kill Mage. He's in yeah. here to you know help against Zoo, maybe Hunter a little Shaman. bit. Shaman, Sh especially. Well, yeah, that's how he was originally added. But, yeah. I mean, he's definitely not in here for Mage. He's. I feel like in any matchup where Baron Gen wasn't like specifically put in to kill that matchup, just play him as one of your first big drops to try to use up removal. Sure. That depends on the build, uh, the builds of the Mages. Like, if they're playing um, Apprentices... Which are three two minions that yeah. can be easily de dealt with the Baron Gannon, but yeah, you got a good. Point I don't here. like apprentices in this version of Mage. Oh, no, I really no. don't. They, do they don't fit at all. Yeah, I I've seen them definitely in them quite often. Like Garo I've seen a those. lot of lists. I I don't like it though. It's, I mean, I guess it's better against some more aggro decks or something, but still. Well, Garo plays Antonidas, so that's the difference. Uh. And then that's why he plays apprentices because he can fit uh, Arcan missiles into turn yeah. you know seven. Yeah. When you have the apprentice already on board, that's pretty sick, I guess. Yeah, plays arcane full combo. Too. Yeah, no, arcane missiles is one. So you no, I, I said he plays arcane missiles also. Oh, oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Sick card. <laughs> yeah, you might have to give me English lessons too, Artosis. Yeah. All right, so he tests. He sees no mirror entity. Yep. Is and this a test for duplicate? Now he can no. set up lethal for the next turn. If he draws into a whirlwind, I don't know if Renat uh, plays whirlwind. Uh, I don't. I don't know either. I mean, again, the Temple Storm guys, they vary from deck to deck as if they're, you know, very independent. It's very rare that they uh, just flat-out copy each other um, with the exception of, like, maybe occasionally, like, Raynat takes one of Tides' deck. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, I, I definitely check out a lot of Temple Storm decks. I think they have definitely some of the best decks out there. And every now and then you do see, like, right. oh, okay, this is a modified, like, at WCA, I think right. Raynat's uh, Mage was, like, two cards or three cards off Piped Mage and, like... Stuff like that. And I think him and Tides actually played the same Aggro Warrior. Well, yeah, I'm talking about, like, same exact copy, though. They have a lot of yeah, they, weird personality, like, oh, I, I really don't like that card. And I think like, that's... No, it's so good, etc. I actually like that way of playing a lot of the time. 
Like, I, I understand when someone's like, well, this is the best version, especially for something like Miracle. Right. But when you get into some of these more controlling decks, there might be, like, you know, a card or two that you really do want different. Huh. Well, keep in mind that is a counter spell out, so Shield Slam would not work or execute on this turn. Um, and and Raynad has... You can go for a pretty... He pretty also pretty doesn't know this is lethal. Yeah. That's better than, coin but than, did, than playing Wait, the did he test if that's duplicate? No, That came he out hasn't. last turn, so... So he can test it. Or, I'm sorry, Mirror Entity. He can oh. try yeah, to Shield play. Slam the Undertaker. Oh, he's going for it. That's really cool. I don't see why not. 33%, man. Do you try to Shield Slam Undertaker to see uh, if You know it's, it's counter, uh, counter spell. Or do you know? How do you know? He doesn't know. Uh, didn't he kill a minion? No. Oh, he just went okay. straight to the face with the Fiery War. Oh, yeah, 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 right. So this could be duplicate or counter spell. Yeah, well, he's going to test right now. Well, it's less of a test and more of a give me a 50-50. But sure. will turn out being 33%. We'll see how it goes now. Well, hold on. I mean, if this Ragnaros doesn't do much, and then his opponent has Ragnaros, and he can't get past the Sludge Belcher. Yeah, yeah like if it hits this 2-3, that's pretty sick. I think Reynos is... Oh, no, he doesn't. Oh, okay. oh okay. well, that's the sec that's the second best option, I suppose. Yeah. I mean, the best option, of course, is to just win the game. Yeah, generally. Yep. Oh, he so can steal his opponent's. Oh Ragnaros. yeah, no, this this is the play here. Wow. Okay, so now Reynad just needs a way to activate his Gromash. Yep. And he wins instantly. Well, let's see what he draws into I mean, here. Just is under quotation marks. <laughs> What is it? Intense moment. Oh, uh, that's not it. Well, I guess that's a target. No. Mm, Wait, but then Kali plays bad. Ragnaros. Oh, gosh. That's, is um, Raynad dead? Hmm, that's really yes. Cool. Yes, he is. No, if he plays Gromash naked on the board and just, like, attacks the 3-4. Would you ever do that, though? It looks like he might. <laughs> I mean, he might have to. And... Oh, okay. No, no, I see what you're saying. There's a Fire War X out. You get to kill two minions. But, um, oh, wow. That's tough. Wow, that's, that's really tough. Yeah. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. So now he lost. Oh, that's actually the losing play, perhaps? Yeah, because yeah, then you kill 17. and then you ping so with second Ragnaros. Kaldi's yeah. won this game. Wow. What? I thought Reyna was going to win. Somehow it turns. It did turn. The, the other way around. I'm kind of figuring how that happened. Yep. Um. Well, he stole his opponent's Ragnaros. Yeah, that, yeah. that might be the <laughs> selling point here. It's. I think it definitely has to be, right? He just didn't have anything to actually deal with it. Ragnaros was doing so well for him, and then, well, he fireballed his own Sylvanas. That's expensive. Yeah. yeah. That's, well, and uh, it's two cards, so it's like... I'm, hmm, okay. I'm sure Reynad is adding that to the... Growing laundry list of reasons why he doesn't like Ragnaros. <laughs> I mean, he's, he's very vocal about that already. Imagine the Warlock remaining, and we're suggesting Warlock if it's Zoo, but if it's Handlock, then no, right? Freeze Mage. Oh, okay. I'm kind of surprised. I'm kind of surprised because um, Ragnaros can single-handedly win this matchup. And he is not playing a Polymorph. Yeah, we, because we, we, we saw, saw every, card every single deck. card yeah. deck. There also is tech that can help him secure the game, right? There's Lotheb in this mage deck that from Kaldi. Oh, yeah, of, sure. of course. Then, that, this card is in every single deck. Right. Why wouldn't you play it? Sure, sure. But, you know, more specifically, um, in this like matchup, a, it's, it's like a Kaldi. very yeah. poor, powerful card in this matchup. Well, there was no Ragnaros in opening hand. I would even keep Ragnaros in this matchup when I have it in the opening Sure, hand. Ragnaros, uh, Lotheb would be an important keep as well. Yep. Um, you know, and if you get some counter spells on clutch moments, he can't do much about it, but he, Reynad is on the coin. Uh, oh, sorry, Reynad no longer has the coin. He's going to use it, apparently. <laughs> He's on the coin. I'm, I think, like, coining Elmet Scientist can be good, but he is thinking about the counter spell. Right, yeah, the, the coin is a great way to answer it. Yeah, like... I I don't know that you need to coin out anyways. Why would you need out that quickly? No. There's such a good chance it just trades with like a loot hoard and you do two damage. It's like, is the coin worth that? No, you don't need your secrets out that fast. Maybe like, his right. only secrets are Ice Block and Ice Barrier, and this deck is not that fast that he's playing against. Really, I think, as you said, Lothar, uh, Rag is the card that you're afraid of here. Yep. Everything else seems like, eh. You can deal with the rest. Oh, uh, hmm. 
Whose secret means more? I mean, as the secret's mage, you want to get your secrets out early. Usually. Let's see what he gets. If it's a counter spell, that's more anti -tier. Okay, so that's cool because he can use it for... <laughs> Is it cool? <laughs> I mean, for Reynet, it's oh, cool because okay. you just played Doomsayer, <laughs> Doomsayer and, and it's instantly... Yep. Uh, instant AoE of Deathbringer. Yeah. Uh, Thanos. I oh, he got Ice Berry, by the way. Oh, okay. I don't think you played Doomsayer here. Does Doomsayer even do much? Yeah, I gotta, I gotta say, I haven't played the... Uh, Freeze Mage versus this kind of like mid-range Secrets Mage, but the more I'm looking at like just the hands and thinking about the flow of the game, I feel like it is like a uh, Freeze Mage favored. Until there's a Ragnaros and no Polymorph. Yeah, yeah. I always do like one Poly in that that deck. And I think Kaldi should play both both Loot here. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he has to dig for those for that precisely one card. That's the that's. The precise one card he needs to win this matchup, as Crip would say. Yeah. Is that oh, what Crip would say? Crip, yeah. I mean, what would Crip say? I think Lothar watches a lot of streams. I think he knows. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I, I mean, if Crip would say that, he'd also be saying how this game's a joke and, yeah, you know, this is so stupid, etc. Oh, we could probably could rain that for yeah. that. He'd probably say something about how boring it is or something, despite the fact he plays it all day. <laughs> <laughs> you know, crit. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, the Doomsayer copying the mirror entity, not what Kali wants to see. It's That's like a twist in nether, Arthosis. And there's, <laughs> it's good there's card. not really much to, to do for uh, Raynad other than draw cards. He doesn't really play many minions, so mirror entity is often not very valuable until Alex draws it becomes a threat. Mm. I think Granite is in a very good spot here. Yeah, this the start has been too slow. His opponent doesn't have many cards in hand. He has so much draw in this hand. Look at that. His three card draws, uh, even four if you count Thalnos. Hmm. And realistically, Thalnos is just a, a glorified loot hoarder in this matchup. I think the spell power does not really matter that yep. much. I mean, all you have to do is secure Ice Block. Yeah. And then uh, hopefully not get Lothebbed, but when you play Alex Straza, and then uh, just have 15 damage. And yeah. their opponent can't do much about it. Yep. They don't have Ice Block to survive any kind of burst. And they don't have healing. That's right. But there are ways that things can go wrong. Like I said, the Lotheb and then you're pressuring the Ice Block is uh, really tough. And that's why you want to reduce as much damage as much as you can. Well, Kaldi has one dead card in his hand, which is Flame Strike, which is completely useless in this matchup. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. It was actually really hilarious watching Freeze Force Mage versus Freeze Mage. Yeah. It was two it against, strikes like, were yeah. used on single Mad Scientist. Two yeah. times, right? Yep. May as well. <laughs> yep. Hmm. Now that's an expensive Yeti. It, it is, but he gets it one card deeper. Maybe one card closer to Ragnaros. And then uh, now Raynad can start developing and drawing further. He has a uh, coin. And he has, what, Fireball, fro Frostbolt? So he just needs one more Fireball, and then... I mean, he's got the ways to kill. Yeah, yeah. He just I needs, would say, he like... Needs, he just needs Ice Block, I think, to finish it, everything out. Yeah, and, and the thing is, he's going to get there, too, I think, with two Loot Hoarders in hand, a Thalnos in hand, the fact that he's drawing one every turn, there's really no damage being done. He has an Ice Barrier as well, which is going to bring him up to, like, 39. And he has this Acolyte on board that's going to draw him two cards next turn. In fact, might even end up drawing him three cards. That depends if Kaldi wants uh, wants to use the Frostbolt on it. <sighs> or, uh, or even the Flame Strike. Ah. But then Flame That's Strike doesn't hilarious. allow you to develop anything else. No, but do you, I like, don't think you you play anything else this turn. Uh, I mean, you can play like a Kirin You don't want Tor. pressure on the board at all? You have pressure on the board, but it's frozen. Yeah, uh, I mean, if your opponent flame, yeah, I guess Joe, your opponent flame strikes, it's the same as playing the Kieran Tour with it, with or without it. Yeah, and unless you got uh, like a counter spell in your hand, so you can play Kieran Tour with counter spell, but then your opponent has coin, and you know that. I mean, so Reynad's AOE is pretty weak. In fact, I don't see any AOE in his hand. But Kaldi doesn't know that. Sure. I mean, he's just gonna load up the board. Yeah. Resilient against flame. His opponent has flame strike though. It's a clear board and a drawn card. No, but uh, <laughs> can't just freeze him up again. <laughs> well, let's see what he gets off this uh, draw on the Undertaker. He's almost had a full hand too. I think he has nine cards. But he has to keep the coin. That's really important. 
I think. Okay, that doesn't really do much, so he can proceed with Ice Barrier and Frost Nova. Yep. Don't want to overdraw, by the way. Yeah, he's got 10 cards right now, so. Yep. Definitely wants to draw two. I mean, uh, play two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think if you play Loot Hoarders, it's just a very risky opportunity for your opponent to make you overdraw. And oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. You really need. Especially when you play against a mage. Especially yeah. when you don't have an ice block yet. Yeah, that's true. Also true. So then next turn, he draws ice block. Plays ice block. If there's a counter spell, you just play coin. Oh, you can just play. You can play Alex Trust the next turn. You don't. F you are not threatened by lethal anyway. Four, eight, twelve, yeah. thirteen, fifteen, yeah. nine. No, okay. Oh, now yeah. it's kind of, kind of dangerous. Yes. And then you know if Kali just draws Lotheb still, he has the ability to pop the block. Then it's good. Ah, oh, he draws oh, Mad yeah. Scientist. Nice. nice. That's nice. So if he I has an opportunity to draw again, though, real quick before he does anything. I think he has to play the Mad Scientist here. But he doesn't After have he any evaluates freeze. the draw, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, if he draws another freeze, he did use like, two like, first levels. Like if he gets Blizzard with um, oh that would be perfect. Blizzard with Mad Scientist is like the dream combo. Mm. Uh, well, that's not it. <laughs> Certainly not. So he's going for like Strand, I, th I think. Yep. Oh, yeah. It makes sense. He's still not going to die. How much damage you said? 19? Yeah, that's 19. Wait. And, yeah. And of course, he has Hold Ice Barrier. Right? He has ice barrier. So. Oh, oh, you're right. You're yeah. right. <laughs> I was like, well, 19, but I see 9 damage of burn in hand. I was like, whoa, wait. <laughs> How much burn does the Rain of 12, has? 23. He has uh, uh, but he's got, Thanos. He's got Thanos. But he has 9 mana. So he's got so. 15 on board and then another. No, he's asking about Raynac, because yeah. Raynac won't oh, die yeah. this turn. So he's yeah, got yeah. Fireball, Frostbolt, Ice Lance, which is 13, and then with Thanos, that's 16, right? Yeah. That's the GG, because that's exact 9 mana. Yep. Wow, okay. Well, okay. pretty... Uh, what's, the, what's the word? Academic game from the Freeze Mage. You just stall, stall until you find 30 points of damage in two turns. And Kaldi was not able to draw Lothab. Like, if he drew Lothab this turn... He missed the... Bo uh, the both important cards in this matchup. Yeah. Would Lothab, Lothab have changed much, Rednos. though? Because, like, say if he drops Lothab, he can't kill him. Yeah, I don't think there was a and specific then, turn where Lothab turns this game around. Like, look at the well, life total here, and if he gets attacked, he gains 8 armor. Well, if he, if he drops Lothab here, he can't kill him next turn. He can't... Yeah, but if he would drop Lothab through. the turn before first Nova, then it will matter really, really much. True, true. Instead of Belcher. Yep. Mm. Yeah, also, Caldi was just thinking about... Um, all the possibilities here, but there's really nothing he can do. In fact, oh, with uh, Frostbolt and Fireball, we forgot spell power damage. Does that mean he had 30 damage just uh, waiting to go? Hmm. Yeah, uh, right? Yeah. He had 19 damage on board with minions, and then he had 11 damage in spells. Four, eight, he had 30 eight, damage right there. It's crazy. It's 17 damage from minions. Oh, okay, okay. I, I thought someone said 19. So, But uh, as long as Raynad doesn't trip or misclick here... Um, or concede. Trip. <laughs> yeah, trip uh, fit, fit metaphorically. Like, if oh, he okay. trips up, he's he sitting, should be so he's Like, he's in a chair, Frodan. It's, he's not gonna, <laughs> he's not gonna trip. Uh, Alright, well, he's got this, and the series is evened up. Uh, it ha Kaldi doesn't have the warrior, right? Mm, Kaldi has priest, druid, and shaman remaining. Hmm. So he won't... He doesn't want to use... Maybe Druid Shaman, again. I think. So, especially with the rain. I think, yeah. I think Druid is a solid choice. Druid is solid. And I like it. I think it's a pretty good choice. And look, he does go for it. Going to bring that Druid out. He really needs this win, though. Uh, if he doesn't get this one... I, I yeah, he can't play Shaman, then, that means. And then he's forced to go and... Well, actually, Priest is bad, too, if it's Death Battle Priest. Ah, mm. it's like a undesirable situation. Kaldi yeah. needs this win. That is for sure. And All right. Needs a faster start. Let's take a look at these Yeti. hands. Um. Hmm. Okay, so uh, Spectral Knight is a very problematic card for a freeze mage. Yeah, for sure it is. 
Oh, but Reyna draws into the Mad Scientist right on curve. Yeah, that's quite and nice. And he's got Arcane Intellect, an excellent start that's for Reyna. That's really important. Oh, the, uh, that's also important, but... Uh, yeah, but it's so far away. <laughs> like, it's like two turns of allowing your opponent yeah. to do stuff freely. And in fact, uh, doesn't coin it out or anything. Why would you not coin Shade here? Because you want to play Yeti, I think. Next it turn. has to be for Yeti. Because, like, if you're waiting to coin out your 5-5... Five, five, well, I guess you could. You could go Shade next turn, coin the 5... the Sorry, the 5-mana the five mana Spectral Knight mm -hmm. the turn after. Because yep, right. Spectral Knight is, like, insane. Really, I guess you have your Frost Novas and you have your... Oh, man. Uh, <laughs> blizzards that can <laughs> solve it. hand has developed pretty well overall. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it, it has. It, it seems true. good um, because Droid doesn't have the Keeper. Mm-hmm. And he's got draw. He's got more draw with the acolyte next turn. Um, and things get hairy. He still oh, has. Look, oh, 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 that's an important card. <laughs> Certainly is. But uh, you know, Reyna does have freeze too. So now, if if Kaldi plays Spectral Knight, we'll see a Frost Nova and Doomsayer next turn. I think. Yep. Makes the most sense. Yeah. Or maybe not because he can ping the shade. So actually, one Spectral Knight doesn't fret. It's not a threat for now. Yeah, he has a nice barrier. Up. Yeah, exactly. Seems fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now he will just ping it and Are play sure? the loop holder. Mm -hmm. I think. Oh, uh, maybe acolyte. No, ma acolyte makes those. Ma makes yeah. Those sense. Well, it, it, acolyte fits the mana a lot better, but uh, you have to think about the next turns. What do you want to do on turn six and turn seven? Because um, turn six most probably will be the doomsayer with Rosnova, so you will lose one mana too. Yeah, I actually, the more I think about it, I do like this. Uh, oh, wow. Oh, wow. I, I feel like that's just slightly greedy. He wants like, the Blizzard I don't think next turn, that's why. Yeah. Hmm. I don't I think it's like, like terrible this. or something. He's, I think it's greedy, though. He's baiting an attack, too, on the Acolyte. Huh. Lotheb on turn, fu turn five. Maybe he feels it. He's like, oh, are we going to see a Blizzard? I don't want to. I think so. Why else would you let your shade grow up to two health? Huh. Hmm. Now the the thing is, Lotheb doesn't seal the win here. Where normally, like you know, it, it can do stuff. Well, the shade <laughs> will die. <laughs> yeah. Like Lotheb often can lock out a mage from being able to play anything when you have pressure on to pop the block. Which is also another thing we didn't talk about. Reynan was making sure that he got ice block guaranteed. Yeah. With um. Uh, that was really Mad important. Scientist. That was a nice move. Yeah. 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 We, we we didn't really talk about it much. Well, that is the card. Hmm. Yep, and this is okay because this is effectively another ice barrier. Like, he's not expecting yeah. it to survive. I mean, there's so many ways for Druid to deal with a... Um, and he already a has Blizzard and um, Frost Nova on his right. head, so it and doesn't really matter. In fact, this might be better than even an ice barrier if you look at it, right? Two mana. This turn, it looks like it's going to prevent nine. Yeah, it's overkilling. Like, if you have to play a spell on that, that's not something you're happy about. Huh? Oh, I guess you could do that plus hero power because it kills the the loot hoarder as well. Sure, but you know he's using swipe as um right now, and again it's one less thing he has to account for if it ever comes down to the calculations. Yeah, we're yeah. like, okay, so does he have the possibility of killing me with swipe or popping the block? And now Reyna could just stall, uh, but he still has yet to draw into some of the key cards like Alex Straza. There's a huge chance that Kaldi will draw into Innervate so he can combo into seven. That's true. Well, uh, if he doesn't do that, he just plays Ancient the floor. So Reynard has to, Reynard has to find a way to clear the board in the next turns. Well, uh, let's we can see what freeze he draws. the board up at least. Yeah. I didn't say it's a problem for him. Oh. <laughs> Lothar, stop telling me it's a problem for him. This is not yeah, so dude, hard. Don't tell Artosis how to guess. <laughs> oh, cold. Ah, of cold. Cold, cold, cold is, That's good. It's really good here. Very, it, I mean, Frost Nova is very flexible because you might disrupt the board too much with Conical, like popping Haunted Creeper and stuff. Mm. So, uh, Frost Nova keep is pretty nice for Reyna. Not to mention it fits out your mana much better. So, yeah, charge the root. Yeah, that's really nice because um, that really, really puts Reyna on the clock here. Uh, also, so one thing that's good for Kaldi is he's kept Ancient of Lore. So he can heal after mm -hmm. Alexstrasza? Yep. Yeah, that's really important. You cannot play that against Freeze Mage. And he d he did already to, um, hero power his armor two times, so... Do you like dropping Thanos for this cycle? Huh? Do 
you like dropping Thanos for the cycle here, Lothar? Mm, I'm not an expert when it comes to freeze oh, mages. Okay. Well, I mean, you played mage, so I wasn't sure if you're like a. a I don't feel so class. confident when when it comes to freeze mage. I, I played it a lot, like some time ago, mm -hmm. but you know, the metagame changed so much. Sure. Okay. He uses Blizzard here instead of. I mean, Fosnov, again, very flexible, and Blizzard sometimes can be a liability. I think Reynard knows that he has to, to keep the Talnos actually kill off the droid at some point. Sure. I mean, the 21 damage for the full burst combo can be yeah. the way you win if he heals up. Which also is another thing to test uh, that's important. Druid, the armor up on the hero power actually does matter. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah like it definitely does. Uh, I think everyone that plays a lot of Freeze Mages had those games where yeah. they hit seven or eight armor before you do anything to them. And it's <laughs> like, what What yeah. class am I playing against again? <laughs> you mean you don't have worthless cards like Whirlwind in there? Hmm. Mm. Well, uh, where's Kaladi go from here? He has combo next turn. Uh, how do you not make it blatantly obvious? Do you force of nature and then uh, attack I and then... You have to pop the ice block as soon as possible. Right. You force the nature to set up the combo next turn. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, why not? But if this isn't obvious, I don't know what it is. That definitely it's telegraphs like that you have a second one of those <laughs> in your it's hand. It's like handing him a telegraph. Okay. Yeah. Or, or ordering those singing it's, guys. Yeah, it, it's basically knocking on the door and singing a song to him about what's in your <laughs> hand. Oh, boy. Well, uh, Reyna does have a, another opportunity to get Ice Barrier. In fact, if he drew Ice Spear, that would have been a bad situation. But now he can get it, so that way combo doesn't kill him. He can freeze, and then uh, even do something else beyond develop a Thanos, or even start pinging away the armor. <laughs> that feels so bad to use the mana to just chip off one armor <laughs> in that yeah. situation when you have. I mean, every little bit counts. It's a team effort. Yeah, that, but there's so many minions on board. I mean, you can. Yeah. I'm really uh, curious how this develops. Here. Cone of Cold. Ping Thanos. By the way, I do want to point out, like, this is a very simple and easy and obvious thing, but he does have that Spectral Knight in the center. We saw yeah, someone yeah. earlier today right. misplay that and uh, oh, have yeah, really? a Spectral Knight. Yeah, someone played uh, their minions and noticed it immediately. Like, we saw the mouse go over and them shake their head. I can't, oh. for the life of me, remember who it was, but someone didn't prepare for Kona Cold today. Would you like the Frost, uh, frost Bolt? <laughs> the face? Okay. I don't think so. Mm, some keeper is kind of cool to negate the mm, the draw from from Talnos, but I think like Kaldi has to use the combo. Sure. I mean, eventually he had to get through that armor anyway, so he he doesn't have any charge creatures, and playing Shadow Nexus doesn't accomplish really anything. Mm. And he actually oh, he doesn't choose sure. to. I, I do find that like. Maybe well, he's nine plus eight. That's seventeen. Like I guess he just wants to make sure he pops, right? He, so. he did already use one swipe, so he can't really be. Uh, can't really. Oh, oh, Alex oh wow! And second dice block. Whoa, that two card combination might have done it. So no, let's count. Um, Alex Straza will get Kaldi two seventeen. Uh, Lore of Wisdom will come and turn 10, and, and this will Five also health. proc proc the Ice Block because of Savage Roar, which can could be played on turn, nine, uh, on turn 10 with Ancient of Law. Uh, so Unless he Ice Lances. Will he? I mean, if he Ice Lances, he stalls for a little bit more damage. I mean, he also has to kill Alex Straza, by the way. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. Oh. Yeah, it's not like... The, oh, okay, he's got Interfade. Do he, can that change anything? Um, I don't think so. Okay. Like, Unless... No, that, that doesn't change anything. Probably just combo, anything. right? Like, uh, but it, you have to deal with Alex Straza, as Froden mm. said. And Reynard has fro double Frostbolt and Ice Lance and Fireball. And so he's got like ways to develop more damage with uh, Ice Block and then Ant's Nice oh to yeah, follow it up. Oh, yeah. So next turn is just Antonidas eyes. No, no, it's not. Yeah, you so, know. Okay, how much? Wait, so hold on. So how much damage can Kaldi do if he just Savage Orders on the board? He's got eleven A ton. plus <laughs> eight. So that's nineteen, right? Yeah. Uh, that does pop the block. But he then how do you kill Alex Straza? Uh, mm, that's a tough spot. Man, you just I guess can't he's just gonna it. run two minions in. 
No way, really? Yeah. Oh gosh, that feels so awful. That does feel awful. When you're like this close to breaking yeah. through. And you do have combo next turn still, so rather than that burning's average roar, but yeah. this gives Maynard plenty of time. I don't think I you think just, you should you just play the, Frost Nova. Yeah, yeah, but I, I think you should attack with the uh the shade with the shade here. Like it will eventually die oh, to oh. something. No, you're right. Because Ant if you didn't attack, now he's at what, sixteen? So because he didn't attack, he can't pop the block with just yeah, combo. Yeah. You're absolutely exactly. right, Lothar. Caldi missed the ability to use the combo to kill. Unless he draws into his second Savage Roar. Well, to be honest, if there's an Antonidas coming out and right. Frost Nova he can't really afford to play the combo and pop the ice block because he will be dead anyway. Yeah. Also true story. <laughs> yeah, Antonai is pretty good if he actually stays out there at all. I mean, Raynad also has the availability of doing full damage, like uh, Frostbolt Ice Lance to just collect a bunch of fireballs and piece it together throughout yeah. the rest of the turns. Yeah. But, I mean, it's he's in such a dominant position. He's just thinking about any possible way he can lose, and without Lotheb, I don't see a way Druid can pull this one out. Hmm. Lotheb is pretty magical like that. Yeah. By the way, it would be so funny to implement Lotheb into Freeze Mages to just increase your chances. Lotheb, they're Lotheb? No, I mean in Mirror Matches, you just play Lotheb. Oh, like, God. Oh, I just won. That would be just so funny, because then it wouldn't just be Alex Straza and... Uh, you know, the secrets, <laughs> the, the two yeah. ice blocks, and, you know, the uh, Frost Nova. Totally chill. I'm cool with that. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, now the only option to actually pop the ice block not right so, now would uh, be double nine. Savage Roar combo. Yeah, that was the only possibility. He can't even pop it anymore. I wonder if Reyna was worried about that at all. I think he thought about that. Reyna yeah. actually thinks about everything. For better or for worse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well said. So then, what can you do here if you're Kaldi? I'm, I'm like, trying to find some way to... I, I mean, like, you can kill the, the Antonitis, but that's not the point he of this. He had a second Innervate? Yeah, well, he, he could have amazing silenced things. his own yeah. minion and then gone for combo. But he can't didn't do he it. Didn't he use one Innervate already? No, he didn't. No, he didn't. So, Spectre Knight there wasn't a good draw at all. If he... Okay, he could. Five, then nine. He has to use the combo right here. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, wow. Yeah. He loses the ability to win, actually, I think. Well, well it's I, better I mean, than straight dying the next right. turn. Like, I know you got to play to win, but when you're actually dying the next turn, then you got to, you know... Yeah. Uh, is played it not no, well, he has a 20 <laughs> front. There's no way to... He, he, he right. Yeah, but I mean, if you have one turn with Antonidas out, uh, the game is over, right? Yeah, like, yeah it's that's true. When you have Ice Block right. already, you, like, just, you do 12 damage from Fireballs in yeah. your attack phase. So yeah. now it's um, Fireball... Oh, wait, have we ignored Frozen too much Nova? of the health count and <laughs> we forgot, like, Kaldi's at 24? Does that matter? Uh, no, I think I, it doesn't. Okay. I don't think it actually does. Like, he only has one more heal in the whole deck, right? Which right. is the Ancient of Lore. I mean, now he still has the opportunity of freezing and then playing, like, Loot Hoarder and then... Like forcing the druid to tack into it and do a little bit more damage that way, uh, while weaving in like a fireball. Like yeah. it's it's very comfortable. And this is what you can get away with. Look, you can even play th like the Acolyte of Pain. <laughs> like that's how comfortable the Freeze Mage is, despite the fact yeah. that like Lotheb at turn deployed. fifteen yeah, Acolyte of Pain, like man. It, to be honest, but he will play um, Frostbolt what? and um, hmm. he's gonna play Frost Nova now. Yeah, I mean this seems. A that seems little weird. over the top. Like, I mean, I suppose he wants to collect his last Ice Lance because I think he has one missing one more. Oh, what? Hmm. But I mean, his, then your opponent can still get one more Ancient of Lore. So. I don't know. I didn't yeah. like that play. You, you uh, really didn't I, like I, it? I can it's, live with it. He I has, mean, it gives him one more turn he's with also the Ice got, Look, he's got another Blizzard. And that, that actually ends up giving him, like, more cards, too. Because even though it's, like, kind of a weak play, he got to play his Acolyte. He got to ping it. He got to play the Loot Hoarder. Oh. So that's, like, an extra card. Then it's going to be two more extra cards Hold next on. turn. Uh, there no, is a, uh, a silence. If so there will if, be this two roar, if this is a savage roar, he can proc. Ha, two silences. But now, if you if you <laughs> silence your shade, oh, the shade loses the attack. attack. <laughs> oh. Wow. Wait, he doesn't have ice barrier, right? No, no, he but he has no way yeah. of actually doing. No, he doesn't. Ten, uh, That's nine unfortunate. Damage. If that was savage roar, he had a chance to pop the block, 
and force like the hand more of uh, the mage, but now he still can't pop the block. <laughs> That's rough. Wow, Kaldi is drawing pretty poor, but uh, I guess he's just going to do what he can. He can get his opponent down to 2 Look, HP. if he would attack with the shades, now Reynard would be at 6. And he also would have popped the ice block yeah. with Force of Nature Savage, like you said. So. No, no, he could have. Uh, he should have killed the Antonidas anyway. But wow. now he would pop the block. You're right. You see this? He he's, signs both he's, of his draws. He's actually putting, I think, oh, Rained okay. on a much weaker hand than he actually is on because of how weak that play was last turn. Oh, you're right. Even though, like, I don't. I actually do think it was like an okay play because he got to draw so much extra, and then okay. he like he got like an extra frost ball from his minions, by the way. Um, so now it's Wailing Soul for the win. Wailing Soul! Oh, That's it. That's man. the tech card. When yeah. Freeze Mage becomes super dominant again, Blizzard already has the card ready. That's yeah, fine. To nerf I, I really Blizzard wanted to Blizzard. take a droid with Wailing Souls here. I mean, that's a sideboard card for sure. <laughs> Hassan has too many sideboard cards. Yeah, I Black think Knight, will BGH, never, Harrison Jones. Yeah, I think there no, never be, will Iron be Beak a sideboard Owl. in Hudson. It's just too powerful. Yeah, yeah. Well, you'd have to limit it to like four cards. No, and then, even with four I cards, it's just four power. Did you not read so Brian yeah. Kibler's post? What? Hmm? About who, sideboards? Who? Whose post? <laughs> Brian, Brian Kibler, Kibler Brian from Kibler Brian, Gaming of Brian Kibler, Kibler Brian, Brian, Brian Kibler, 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 Kibler Yeah, yeah. yeah BMK okay. The same .com. Okay Just making sure <laughs> That we were talking about the same guy <laughs> That's all uh, Nothing about the Brian I mean yeah. We just promoted his website So <laughs> <laughs> For free Yeah Oh second Ice Lance That's what he was looking for too as well I mean he We kind of ignored what was happening I wonder right? if Reyna's like God I'm well, so no, I mean, unlucky Well no I mean he was pretty dead Like Yeah <laughs> but I wonder if Reyna was like God I'm so unlucky Second Ice Lance And 28th card in my deck <laughs> He likes talking about that kind of stuff. Like, oh, yeah, that card was the Some card X. has to be yeah. the 28th card. And the thing is, like... <laughs> yeah, that's right. Some <laughs> card has to be number 28. <laughs> and, like, if you didn't have enough draw on your draw spells or bombing deck, you're going to be pissed about that, too. Like, oh, just play eye for an eye. They die like, because it doesn't, doesn't proc on their turn. work on their turn. Yeah. Eye for an eye, guys. Dude. New meta. This is why we can't have sideboard in tournaments. Yeah. Eye for an eye would be too powerful. That would be hilarious. Well, you'd push. have to, like, sideboard into, <laughs> like... Powder. I don't know, big minions for the mage deck, Boulder Fist Ogres, like, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, if, if you're a Reynard, then that means as Paladin deck, your your deck is 28 cards and I for an eye. Mm. <laughs> and then well. you blink really slowly as if your hair <laughs> that you were blow drying for four hours got into your eyes. <laughs> and then you say a de self-depreciating joke about Hearthstone comparing it to relating to the opposite species of females. Oh. And that would be Reynard explaining why Paladin is OP. That is scarily accurate, yep. Frodan. Yep. Scarily accurate. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Death Rattle Shaman? No, no, it's a Control Shaman. Uh, I mean, Priest. Yes, Control, Control Shaman. shaman. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, he has Alex Straza and then one, two, three, yep. four, five, six other cards in his hand. So. Hmm. So. No, that this matchup depends how many hall fires the uh, priest has. That's really important. The, the, um, the bad thing. I f <laughs> most the most of the lists I've hell seen. Hellfires? <laughs> <laughs> Holy fires. Oh, okay. I was like, I was just confused. I was like, because I was about to say, yeah, you know, priest is about twenty eight. <laughs> priest deck is just twenty eight cards in hellfire. <laughs> you, know, you know, that's the control shaman with um, priestess and hol and hellfires. That's new meta. Yeah, yeah. Oh, ho holy fire! Though you're absolutely right. Like, it, it's a very important card. The ten damage where you might pop the block again and then heal up five is really. Yeah. Cool. What is yeah. really funny that actually warrior is the best healing class in the game. Well, <laughs> it's supposed yeah, to be. Yeah, it's kind of the best healing class, but actually, like, uh, I would say that paladin, like, it's easier to get ready to kill to not die with the warrior deck, <laughs> but you can heal the most with paladin. Yeah, but like you it's super easy to 30. heal yourself for like. Yeah, that's true. I'm just saying like to get out of that Alex Straza range because mm -hmm. of the cost of all these cards nowadays being a little bit nerfed. Like that actually heals up the quickest. Like you only have two shield blocks in your deck, so once if they actually get rid of your armor somehow, right? Yeah, yeah, you're right. But still, like if Alex Kidding. Straza only costs one mana, then Paladin would be the deck. But still, if you think about it, adding five yeah. HP points and cycling through your deck. No, of course. It's, it's it, like insane. Right. Yeah, I would rather play that one. I'm just saying it actually technically Paladin heals better Lothar. Get uh, out of yeah, here. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that's why. Isn't Heladin 
one of the things that like people try. You experimented with Hilden, yeah. didn't you? Yeah. Like you tried Hilden's good. Putting like kind of every single heal possible. Was How crazy. did you clear opponents? By, By sizing, healing out of the, the uh, healing out of Alex Straza and all his fireballs. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was uh, the meta at one point. Well, Raynad has Frost Nova and Doomsayer. Does he have Doomsayer? No, sorry, that was Loot Hoarder. I misread uh, the card there. Oh, so he's still waiting on Doomsayer, but then Priest ah. can't really respond to it without, like, Shadow Word. He can sh cabal Shadow Priest. Like, yeah, I guess, <laughs> but then... Oh, really do my much. God. Yeah, I actually <laughs> saw someone doing that. It oh, was yeah. Uh, Colento did that. Colento did that because he was going to burn a card. If he, like, he was at 10 cards. Oh, so okay. He, he played Cabal sense. Shadow Priest. He could... That. Hold on. Cabal Shadow Priest, Wailing Soul. Oh, yeah. Dude, that's next level. That's the combo right there. And I mean, you just Cabal Shadow Priest silence. If, like, if we want to bring it back to reality, you run silence in your deck, don't you? But there would be no point to seal it if you were going to silence it. Uh, you have Argus's. Oh. Ooh. Well, well, I mean, you play one eight taunt. I know another card like that. You can't play <laughs> the Cabal Shadow Priest unless you silence, unless you take the minion on your opponent's board. Like it yeah. won't let you. Yeah. It's a battle cry. So. What? Okay, that could be the yeah. case. He's no, asking like, why would you take it if you could just? No, you it? you can play Cabal Shadow Priest before. Target. No, if he has a minion, you have if to. If he has a oh, yeah, 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 board, you yeah, have to steal yeah, it. Yeah, you're right. Uh, Sorry. So in the meantime, there is a Hearthstone game going <laughs> on. <laughs> yeah, theory crafting for 15 minutes and yeah. not addressing the game. Well, I mean, we've. Uh, what the the thing saying? about this Mage deck, Frodan, is that it is Alex Straza and 29 cards. So <laughs> <laughs> until Alex Straza comes out, we're just talking about these random yeah. cards to get Alex Straza out. Yeah. We can just say, oh, Frost Nova, oh, Blizzard, oh, whatever. Yeah. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Oh, look. Cabal Shadow Press, oh. Priest uh, stealing, stealing Acolyte of Pain. Pretty sick. Reynel wants to overdraw the priest. Uh, well, I, th I think he just wants to draw like Blizzard and Flame Strike and those cards. Or yeah. Blizzard. Actually, well, this is a reasonable amount of pressure. He's pretty low. Yeah, yeah this is a reasonable amount of pressure that Priest is putting on. But it still is effectively the same thing. It isn't like unless you're sub ten, like fifteen still feels like a comfortable health range, don't you feel? Yeah. Well, Priest makes yeah against feels against Priest it definitely does. Yeah. Well, now that um, Akunai is alive, though, <laughs> Akunai does put like a hunter hero power. <laughs> so. Yeah, but you can't <laughs> heal then. So if uh, yeah. Reynard plays Alexstrasza, oh well, now you have like possibilities where if you want to start healing, you can just silence your yeah. Akunai yeah. for healing. There's actually, we've s I can tell you, like uh, that's amateur priest players will make that mistake a lot of the time. Where they'll play the like against a, a very aggro deck like a hunter or something, they'll play the Akanai to help clear the board, and then it just sits there and they can't heal, oh, and then you right. just yeah, use yeah. hero power and your bow. And you're, you're so like, board oriented. Well, yeah. you see that though that plays in the tournaments too oh, because you have like no way to actually deal with creatures or whatever. Yeah, but y yeah. you got the point. So now the problem still persists. There's the ice block. Yeah. No, no the downside of us. Terror crafting about different things is that we don't know if there's any secret played already. Uh, well, he already attacked um, the previous turn. Oh, yeah, no yeah. Ice barrier, so yeah. And he's able okay. to play Ice Block. And he can play Ice Block now, so we are sure that there is no Ice Block already in play. Uh, he's on 13. That's 13 is super low right now. Like, I think he has to just start freezing stuff, right? Oh, he, I mean, he wants to, but he also wants to develop, like, a secret. And the problem is he needs to ping this Acolyte and then play Cone of Cold more effectively, but uh, he can't. Well, he could just play the Cone of Cold on the left-hand side. That would actually stop the most damage. Sure. But then you want to do, like, a little more damage for Flame Strike in the next couple Yeah, times. that's that's actually, that would be the best. He doesn't have an AOE for next turn. That's no, he elite. doesn't have it yet. Well, let's see. Does he have damage to kill Priest um, if he Alex draws us? Mm. Let's see. Uh, does not yet. He's got 13? No. Well, he's got Thalmus. Oh, that's right. That's 16. So he has actually but only the board he'd be for one like damage one turn. Off. The turn that happens, if oh. you didn't clear right before, you're no. going to Holy Nova. He can't. He can't heal himself because he only has... He only has... He has two Arcanize and only one Silence. Mm, he can, yeah, but he, he can, can run suicide, his Arcanize yeah. into... Oh, Alex Straza, you're, yeah. right, you're right, you're right, you're ah, right. Good thing that we are free that. here. I know, seriously. Is he thinking about thought stealing? Getting ice block? Dude, that <laughs> is actually just win. You just win the game. That would be really cool. Faults into two fireballs? That's pretty good, but it's not as good as ice block. Yeah. Ice block is the ultimate. Uh, fireball and ice block. Compromise. 
Sound good to everybody? All of them, sir. That's no. cool. Oh, 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 my wow. God. Oh, boy. I heard that Forgive I thought me. it was pretty crappy, but yeah. He, right now, otherwise. he's thinking, God, I hope that's Ice Barrier. Yep. <laughs> That will, this oh is actually goodness. disastrous. This is a brand new game. It certainly is. Uh, very tough situation wow. there. He's got to freeze again, right? Like he, he has to assume the worst, that this is the card that will kill him. Hmm. Why are you standing, guys? Because I'm getting tired. We've, we've been sitting for a little while. Well, like, I have to stand there. Too. You don't have to. You can sit. Yeah, um, but you know, it's the thing. You, you, when you cast, you have to like make interactions with yeah. the other casters, right? Well, not all casters do that, but the good ones do. I for See? a man. Hey, what's up, dude? So he's going to go for Alex Straza, uh, but there's bad news waiting for him. In fact, he doesn't even have second dice block. Well, there's that card. Um, yeah, it got stolen. Uh, Ooh, oh, oh, what a, oh, oh my Whoa, God. what a draw. Okay. okay, so you proc and you play that, and we go on to game five. Yeah, that's true. That's, yeah, that's right, because um, it's got a taunt. You can't, like, the priest has ways to deal damage from the hand. The priest has ways to deal damage from the hand, so after the. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, yeah, I lost my train of thought. Y you can. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Lothar are being really helpful, huh? Wow. I am trying to do my job. He here. has to proc this turn. Oh, he will. yeah, yeah. It he is will. more important he than He needs anything. to get to a point where he can um, kill from the hand very easily, and so he just calculates damage. Uh, there's no way for Kali to lose this the yeah. next turn. Because he just has to... Um, that false was so lucky. It was actually... Uh, he he had only one uh, ice block in his, uh, in his deck. The left. truth is, he didn't really need Thought Steal ice block. Why? Because, because of the Lotus? Priest can't... I mean, he still yeah, can't. He can't still can't kill, kill him. him. And then he still had like Holy Nova just to kill, just to finish the game. Because if uh, if like Lothab came down, the only thing he can do is Frost Nova, and then or I guess Ice Block here. But <laughs> <laughs> wow! But that doesn't change anything. Yeah, it right. changes nothing. That Lothab was so sick. The so Lothab plus Ice Block like together. The, like the Lothab stalls it just for long. God. Uh, well, Reynald will be disappointed when he will lettle the priest with projectiles and that will do nothing, achieve nothing. Yeah. Pop. <laughs> well, that's that. <laughs> that's right. Okay, hmm. he wants to heal. Yeah, he needs to play Holy Nova and heal himself. That's like the smartest way. Yep. I guess he uh, didn't draw first, but not a real big deal. It would have probably changed if he had Holy Fire, but that's about it. Yeah, yeah. But this is enough health anyway. It's like it's easy to calculate what sure. you can do with 10 mana. Can Renard even do 19 damage? Uh, 7, I mean, 11, 16. Not really. No. no, but more importantly, he can't survive just a Holy Nova next turn. So this game is over because now the Ice Block does come into play. Yeah. You're right, so the thoughts do yeah. that become... Yeah, it turns out Alex Straza couldn't do this one alone. Well, Reyna doesn't even have 19 damage. He has 17 by our yep. count. I feel like we're uh, commentating that reality show with the family that has like all the kids. The Octomom? It's like 17 damage and counting. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know this yeah. one. It's okay. So it's like on it, MTV. You're actually like very that. lucky to not know this one. Yeah. Okay. Or have your country American TV, like sometimes a little bit off the mark. I'm just not watching TV at all. That's good. Right, That's why busy. you won your group. Too busy working <laughs> out, getting married, and playing Hearthstone. Like winning at life. Playing in a band does not achieve nothing. Yeah, like Raynette hopes Kaldi doesn't have direct damage of some sort. Yeah, there's but, like. But I that, guess there's a slight possibility, but when he used the Holy Nova already, when he was already out of range, you yeah. know he has the second one. Come on. Okay. And Kaldi doesn't go for any BM. He's just too nice of a guy. Apparently. Okay, so now Raynette will choose uh, Warlock. Oh, wait. Uh, there's no interaction, right, with like Secret and like the Mad Scientist. Like, even if that was Ice Block, it didn't matter, right? Um, I'm no, because sure. he goes to zero at the same time as. Uh, but uh, if it is in fact a handlock, and it is, Jaraxxus oh, by himself man. kills. Uh, kills. You face Jaraxxus. Yeah. Mistake. I well, this one. is a good matchup for uh, for Raynad, at least on paper. 
Yeah, definitely. Uh, I guess here's a question. Would you keep Jaraxxus? Because that it's is actually card. how you win every time. Yeah. In fact, this deck is 29 cards in Jaraxxus. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, so true. Can we your, make your a, like, voice uh, needs to get a lot more froggy though to be like ring. We can make a roundup, <laughs> like Artosis lists of decks, and it will be like Handlock, twenty nine cards plus Draxus, yeah, uh, yeah. Freeze Mate, twenty nine cards I mean, plus Extraza and Zorier. What twenty eight cards and two Armor Smiths? Why not Extraza? Ga uh, Garrosh. Garrosh. Uh, Garrosh. Yeah, Garrosh. I mean, I feel Garrosh, like no, whatever his name no, is. Yeah. But to to do what Raynet does, you have to like take a card that people somewhat undervalue and like talk <laughs> about why it's the best card in the game. Like the mm. warrior so would be next? two cards and death spite. Or I mean, sorry, twenty eight cards of death spite. Oh, okay. So yeah, yeah it's got to be like this yeah, card that like no one sees. Thing, yeah. No one sees the matrix code except for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I <laughs> That's get a it. I get analogy. it. I like, I like it. this. I'll yeah. I'll come up with there some of those. Yeah, now you're starting to learn. Yeah. Do you think someone has Wild Growth? No. Well, probably not in this this game, yeah, right? Yeah, because every time I no see greeting, so there's a Wild Growth right. coming for you. Right. Oh, okay. So uh, the way Priest beats uh, Handlock, by the way, is you have to have the perfect removal line and then like Handlock to miss a lot of their important cards. But we see Twilight Drake already in the hand, and there's no silence available. Yeah, that's really rough. He's going to have to run a lot of stuff into him to kill him off, unless he just gets lucky and draws it. Um, Mark my words, ne next, next draw is silence. He needs it. He's oh, going to have to play this Powered Shield. He has an oh, opportunity okay. to draw for it as well. Now, that would be... Uh, Seven damage. It's not quite enough. Um, uh, yeah, he only can do eight damage this turn to the He Drake. can do first circle of healing. Yeah, if he's using circle plus coin plus, I think you just ignore the Drake. Yeah, yeah I think you, that's your yeah, only yeah. option. And that's, then like, the yeah. power shield is very unreliable. In fact, yeah. you're lowering yourself for a Hellfire clear. That's yeah, that would be really gross. In fact, he even has that Hellfire. Hmm. Molten Giant. Well, this is important. Right now it's at 17 health, but it's still not. That alarming, considering once again, as long as the Drake's just removing stuff and you're playing yeah. things on the board, you're okay. Yeah, like the the priest will not be able to finish this oh, quickly. Oh, shovel is important. What's also did, um, did he just ignore the? Wow, wow. There's yeah, he does. Uh, yeah, I I think I understand this. this is, I mean, it's so this scary because there's nine damage on board. Yeah, but that's, that's <laughs> like he's at on 50, six so he, like, had he had two mind blasts. He's dead or mind blast and. Uh, <laughs> And Mind Blast and Holy Smite. <laughs> 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 Old priest, des pre priest decks used to run that. Yeah, yeah. Dreamhack Summer, man. It's yeah. Maz was playing that Mind Blast. <laughs> and Velen. Um, hey, he got to the finals. Um, yeah. I'm what? thinking that we need to make a, a priest deck that's like Warrior, where you just kill at the end with Velen plus Mind Blast. Oh, it's there, like is. Mash. there is. Uh, Zedalot from the European region. Zedalot is a Paul. great priest deck maker. He, he, I love his priest decks. He played Velen and Mind Blast for a while. Yeah, that was like forever ago. We need it again. <laughs> Zedalot, if you're watching this, please come to our rescue. Make us a priest deck that kills you randomly when you have 15 health. That's That's... Pretty cool. And don't tell me zombie chows. I'm not doing it anymore. Combo priest. I mean, you can, but the only combo priest that I can imagine is, is auction you? In inner fire priest. Like you play Stormwind Knight, Divine Spirit. Oh, I'm not doing that. Inner fire. Frodan, I'm not. But that doing is that. combo. Like you're talking about priest that can kill from 15 to 20. Don't like it. Hmm. Okay. Don't like it, Frodan. Oh, there's a puzzle that Caldi might be looking at. Oh, never mind. <laughs> okay, I, 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 he reached for the coin. I was like, okay, well, that's clearly like some AOE stuff that you're going for. This is kind of crazy. Look how low he's already gotten him. He, he just wants to play the yeah, Molten Giant. He's, he's got a clear with um, Shadow, Shadow Flame, Flame and, and Molten whatever. Giant. And then he can taunt as well. And he can, he but can taunt. Does he have a, very risky. No, he doesn't have like a Mortal Coil or anything. Um, he can't, I don't think he wants to go below six. I think six is the magic number here. <laughs> Because Holy, Holy Fire does fire, exist, yeah. you know. So you're I wonder if he's playing any, uh, Holy Fire anyway. Yeah, I don't think he is, actually. Like, we've got deep... Oh, he doesn't even have to Shadow Flame the Giant because he's got Ancient Watcher. Mm, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, oh, that's really oh, nice. All right, all right. Of course. Uh, and now uh, he can just play his Giant. And he's not afraid. And now Kaldi is staring at. <laughs> oh, that's big a lot of board. damage there, isn't it? Oh yep. man, now it's a uh, oh, fault steel fall. Two soul fires. Oh, wait, two soul fires. Whoa! Yeah, soul fires, but yeah. then one soul fire discard.
starts the other one. Whoa, the game's how too about, crazy. How about, how about Thought Steel? It's a Hellfire and Soulfire. You coined for it. <laughs> and wait, wait, Soulfire. You, 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 you yeah, Thought you, Steel. You get Hellfire and Soulfire, and you coin for the it's Hellfire. It's certainly. Whoa! For it. <laughs> he goes for it. Oh, uh, that's not either close. of those cards. Um, he got. He got. He got Black Knight, which is a good anti-giant tech, but that's about it. He has to. He has to use Power Shield. This is the state of priest. Oh, look, Sinus. Nope. It's Little way late, too late there. Little late. Oh there. man, that's so. This game, game is short. That is game. I cannot can believe how this is swung for twenty-three damage and counting. Wow, that was fast. I don't even understand <laughs> what I'm watching anymore. What are these games today? <laughs> yeah, bravo, bravo. Oh, that was really a smart play uh, with all oh, the DBM. Well, uh, that was that was quick, and that was really impressive yeah. from Raynaud's part because he um, had. So I guess Raynaud advances. Yeah. 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 I guess he does.